about to come down the aisle. I'm just kidding. Uh, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? So earlier today, I was live. You guys were here with me while we talked about the situation with Sammy Guevara and Sasha Banks. I've had a lot more time to reflect on this situation and think about some things, and I got some new opinions. But first, Sasha Banks um, did forgive him. You know, first she, you know, obviously said what he said was terrible and wrong and all this stuff, and then she forgave him. So, um, I think my, in my opinion, I'm a little bit, lo I'm a little bit worried about everything I'm seeing. And that's, you know, I don't know. Like I've, I've seen this sort of stuff before from a lot of different people. Earlier I spoke with Sammy. He apologized. We had an open discussion. Words like comments he made jokingly are not absolutely no place in our society. I don't condone or tolerate this. It's so weird because earlier today I was watching uh, Joe Rogan and they made a rape joke and then they were like, see how funny that is? And everybody was laughing about it. And it's it's funny. Like the people are like, you can't joke about this or that. You can basically joke about it. I I'm here to tell you guys, regardless of what snowflake people think, you can joke about anything. It doesn't matter. I joke about uh, my dad. You know, I joke about diabetes and people dying of it. My dad died of it. You can joke about anything. It's up to people, but everybody gets offended by whatever. It, it, our society is going down a dark path of scary guys. I got to tell you, um, especially by Sasha Banks' comments. I really like Sasha Banks. You know what I mean? I, I really do like Sasha Banks. I've been like a fan of her forever. I met her, you know, when she was Mercedes here in New England. Um, I always thought she was great. I'm concerned about the actual stuff that's going on in the UK, maybe, and some of the real, like, I'm concerned about actual rape, is what I'm trying to tell you. Although, now we're going to get demonetized because I just said that. I'm actually concerned about the, the R word. I'm actually concerned about it. But as far as people making jokes, I'm less concerned. Why, why, why I understand being a little concerned that Sammy said it is because he had the, uh, he was actually at the WWE Performance Center. He was entrusted to go down there and do something. He saw Sasha there and he goes on a podcast and says, you know, oh yeah, like, man, I'd, I'd, I'd the hell out of her, you know, or whatever that, that woman, he said, which is weirder to say that woman. That's even creepier for some reason. If he just said her name, it would have been less. I don't know why, but, um, so that's weird because he's like a, you know, he's a fellow wrestler like Sasha. So now this guy has said that, ooh, like I'm looking to RAP you or whatever. I got to be careful because I don't want this video to get shadow banned by saying the word. Probably will already, but whatever. Um, you know, and so it's uncomfortable if they ever meet or, you know, now behind the scenes, she's telling people that guy who said he wanted to, uh, you know, do this to me. So, you know, it's it's just bad for for everybody. I and mean, for Sammy, he's a wrestler. So it's it's. That's why I think that this is actually, this is why I think that it's a little bit bad because you're directly saying that about someone that you could be working with or that you saw, actually saw that day. It's very weird. Um, but making jokes like this happens all the time. I don't even think it's a joke. I think guys talk like this because I've been around it. All right. I, I've, I've, I don't believe I've said this. Um, about women, at least if I did, it was way back when I was younger too, but I've heard 40 year old guys say this stuff. Like I've heard 40 year old dudes talk this way in locker rooms about, about, about women. You know, it's just the way they, people talk. They, they those guys have probably never done that to anyone in their lives, nor would they, nor could they, nor could they get the girl, all these things, but they just talk like this and that's just whatever. So you're lumping, basically we're lumping in a guy who says this in the locker room, we're also lumping in a guy who says this like Sammy Guevara, who, you know, has a kinship with Sasha and other wrestlers because he's part of, he's one of their, um, can't think of the word right now, but you know what I mean. Um, and then we're also lumping in comedians who say something like this as a joke, as a full on joke. So Sasha here is kind of saying like, it's all bad. It doesn't matter what, who it is or what it is or whatever. So there's where I kind of disagree with that. But, you know, I, I don't I definitely think that if you're if I was invited to WWE, the uh, which I've been there, actually. But you know what I mean? Like I didn't 
I didn't come home and say like, oh man, I was just at the WWE uh, um, training facility. And man, I'll tell you what, Vic Joseph, man, I, I would love to, you know, chop off his private parts and put them on my wall. You know, that'd be awesome. You know, I didn't go on a podcast and do that, you know, because that's dumb because you're, you're, you're invited to WWE and now you're talking about wanting to um <laughs> rape one of the women you saw there i mean like it's just it's a bad it's a bad look right um but again like i said non wwe non wrestling people make this joke all the time man i'd rape the hell out of her i hear it all the time all the, i hear it i've always heard it i've always heard it and you know sasha banks would say you got to call it out and all these other things and i'm just not like i don't know man I'm not into saying that, but I understand that it means that she's hot. It doesn't mean that they're going to go do that. But if you're a peer of hers, you know, and you say that, like, that's an uncomfortable working environment. And I think that the HR line is really blurred in wrestling. You know what I'm saying? There, there's a blurred line for the HR department in wrestling. So a lot of independent wrestling companies don't have one. So there's nothing you're worried about, really. And it's kind of like the 80s all over again with the locker room mentality for them. But I think comedians on comedy shows um, can say stuff like this. So I disagree that we have to change our language as a society. That sounds like weird. Like you sound like a like a verbal Nazi or a 1984 or something like, oh, we need to change as a society or whatever. What? You know, I mean, this has been going on for years. This started years ago and you used to be like, damn, these people are crazy. And then it just became the slang of everybody. I don't know. We said this like 25 years ago when we heard slang start going this way. I hope from this point on, in order for growth and change within our community, we take place. We can all continue to have these conversations. No person, man, woman, or child should ever be subject to feeling of fear. Um, I mean, this was like years ago, so I can't believe that now she's in fear now, but maybe she could be because like these two guys are talking and this guy was like, I mean, it's, it's not good. Like in a way, in many ways, it's really bad because he's a wrestler. He could show up, he could be around at a party or, you know, he could run into her somewhere and, you know, she's, you know, what, you know, I mean, I feel like people, I, I can't believe that people don't know that that's a saying among a lot of guys or, or it's a, or it's a joke because he's on a shock show, you know? But I, you know, I, I, you take it out of context, you put it on the internet. The sad thing again is once again, um, once again, like there's women actually being assaulted, you know, like there's actually women who have been assaulted trying to come out to talk about what's going on and think about this. Somebody took the time to go back two years or four years to find this clip and to surface it to everywhere to make Sammy Guevara trend this morning and have to go through this whole thing with Sasha Banks and, and have her hear this and all these other things. Um, I just find it undermining to the other people that are coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like this is kind of, it just seems crazy to me. There's actually people coming out like this guy did this to me in the locker room and this happened to me in the locker room. And now we're talking about Sammy Guevara making a joke on a podcast from years ago. You know, it's like talk about completely derailing all these other people who are trying to get their message out all for a, or a, a goofy, stupid comment that Sammy made years ago. He made so what he made the dumb joke like years ago. I've made dumb jokes. We've all made dumb jokes. Why is that interfering with the the me tooing that's going on right now with with other women who are like having real problems, you know? Um, I guess this, you, the argument would be like, well, this is a real problem. Like him saying that is a real problem. I would agree if he had just said it yesterday or if he said it like last week or something, you know what I mean? Like if he had just said this, if during all this, he went on a podcast or on a radio show and Sammy Guevara was like, you know, one time I saw Sasha Banks in the training center and oh my God, I wanted to do this. Like, all right, now we can pull you. Now we can go on Twitter and be like, dude, with everything going on, what are you doing? 
But this isn't with everything going on. Everyone, I've been seeing that all over Twitter, too. With everything going on, why do you think it's okay to do this? He did it. He did it two years ago, you idiot. He didn't know that all of a sudden this was going to go on one day and then someone was going to go grab a clip of him saying some joke years ago and then put it out everywhere. Um, so it's just weird. It's a weird time we live in, man. I hate the time we're living in. I got to tell you, I, I, I don't know if I can stand much more of this. I don't know if I can stand much more of this world. I have three kids, though, so that's why I'm still alive. My face is swollen, too. My tooth, uh, my face is swol swollen a little bit, man. So maybe my tooth's more infected. Maybe I'm going to get br some kind of brain infection and die. I don't know. Wouldn't you love to see me just die and have a brain infection? That'd be nice. Uh, my kids could at least um, get away from me then. And I could get out and we could get away from this world right now. This world of insanity. But I am glad that Sammy reached out to her because that's the first thing I would do. I would feel really bad. Like I would feel really, really bad because I'd be like, man, this is a stupid comment and a joke that I tried to make. Um, I shouldn't have made it because I was at the WWE training center and you were there and I shouldn't have commented about you that way. Um, I would never do anything like that. You're never in danger with me. Like I've never liked that. This isn't who I am. I just said something that was crazy out there and disgusting about you. You know, um, I, I sincerely apologize to you for this and I'll take my whippings or whatever. Um, you know, that, I mean, cause I feel bad for her hearing it. That that's the only thing is I feel bad that she heard it because you know, when you make a joke, you're like, ah, they won't hear this. And I'm trying to be funny anyway. And you kind of like make this quick split decision in your mind to make a joke. And then you're like, ah, whatever. And then like five years later, that person hears it, you know what I mean? And then you have to explain it, but it's not in a joke form anymore. Now it's like in like, they took it literally. So now you're like, oh, so you feel bad because you're like, well, that person should not have had to hear that because it was supposed to be a joke on this place where I didn't think anybody would hear it that mattered. But, you know, it's like Excalibur. Isn't there like a video of Excalibur saying something horrific or like a racist thing or something? I don't know. It's like everybody. You know, er everybody's done something here, especially on the Internet. Nobody is is. I don't know. It's like, what if one day we decide the drugs are, are, are the, the devil or something like that? And then, like, you're smoking, uh, you know, weed on a stream from years ago. And they're like, maybe Sasha Banks was smoking on a stream or on a video. And they're like, see, look, you were a, you were horrible doing that. Like, and then they put you in jail for it. It's just like that's we're kind of going down a weird road with this, uh, to be honest. You know? But uh, yeah, if you're in the business, you got to be really careful. If you're in the business, you got to be careful of what you say. Look at what happened to me about Bubba Ray Dudley. You know what I mean? I made jokes about Bully Ray. Bully Ray got in my face. You know what I'm saying? At a show. Because I am a, I was doing commentary. I'm a commentator. So I'm doing commentary and I'm at the show and I'm having a good time and I'm saying I'm, I'm acting like it didn't happen. I'm like, hey, bully, you want some water? And the next thing you know, he's like, I'll fucking kill you and all this stuff. And it's like, wow. And I'm like, oh, man. I, you know, that stuff I said, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't serious. I do a, you know, I do a comedy show. And the guy took it serious. And, you know, I had to apologize to the guy, but. What am I going to do? Never. What are you going to do? Never joke about anything or anyone again, you know? But the thing is, uh, people, people take it as real, like in wrestlers and Twitter. They, they, it, it's crazy what, what goes on now. And I, I don't know, man. I don't know what the answer to it is. But at least that they seem like they've made up, you know? Sounds like Sammy apologized to her and her husband. Um, which I, you know, I would do the same if, it, if something like this came out, cause you'd be like, I don't, you shouldn't have had to hear this and understand the context that, you know, I just meant she was good looking and I said it in a crazy way. And, you know, I didn't know if you're married or whatever at the time, uh, you know, it could have been anybody else would have said it. I'm, you know, you apologize to them. You move on. Should I apologize to Jinder Mahal for the Jinder's juice cup with a needle in it? You know what I'm saying? 
That's not funny. That's not funny. The saying I'm on, on the steroids. That's not funny. You know, should I, sorry, Ginger. It's Ginger's juice. I'm drinking Ginger's juice. What are you going to do in this world, man? They want... People want comedy banned, it looks like. Everywhere. But again, it is different when you work in the wrestling business. You were invited to WWE. You saw her there. Then you went somewhere else and were like, yo, this is what I'd do. You know, so I can see that. You know, but if somebody just... It, like, it, like, say like... You know, somebody on a podcast just said that about her. Didn't know her, never saw her, but it was like... Dude, Sasha Banks, man, I would, you know, this. It's not as bad to me because it's like, all right, you'll never see her. You don't even know what you're talking about. Now, if a guy keeps making videos about how he's going to do that to her, that's messed up, bro. And that guy needs to be pummeled. But, you know, making a joke randomly, whatever. But because Sammy's in the business, it's like, that's weird. Right. Anyway, I'm I'm droning on here. I'm babbling. I'm so, I'm sort of trying to brainstorm out loud or talk out loud or whatever. I'm trying to justify everything here, and I think I've spun around in circles. But the bottom line is, uh, Sammy and Sasha sounds like they're okay now. People want Sammy Guevara fired. Um, you know, Joey Joey was uh, Joey Ryan was just fired. But to be honest, dude, I'm telling you, man. Sammy Guevara doesn't go around pointing the finger at people from what I understand. Joey Ryan did. And now he's got the finger pointed at him. And it looks like he made a mistake. They eat their own. What do you guys think? Do you think what Sammy Guevara is disgusting and he should be fired forever? Do you think what Sasha Banks has said is accurate? Do you agree with both? No one, everyone, someone? What's going on? Do you think that I will die from my tooth infection? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tonight is Monday Night Raw, and I will be live tonight after Monday Night Raw. And uh, that's about it. Sorry I wasn't around yesterday much, but um, I just hung out with my kids most of the day. It was dad, it was Father's Day, so my kids were wanted to play. We had all kinds of water balloon fights and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it took, took a little bit of time. I missed a lot of messages, so I'm just checking in on a lot of those things now. And I will see you tonight for the Raw review. And uh, I love Sasha's her hair, by the way. Her blue hair and her purple hair. And uh, I think that's the coolest. Uh, Sammy Guevara's got some pretty nice hair, too, man. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that, man. He's kind of got the Joker vibe going on right there. I don't know. It's all good. Here's some other videos popping up, potentially, that you might have missed. Or you're going to get a blank screen, which means I forgot to do it and... In that case, just click on videos yourself.